Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I really hope you had a great Christmas and New Year's and are ready for 2017. Now, for my first video, I really wanted to recreate the makeup look that Kylie Jenner wore at the Golden Globes. It was like basically focusing on um, her skin and having really light eye makeup and I just thought it was really pretty, so I wanted to recreate it for you guys. So to start, obviously we have to prime our skin and I'm gonna use my favorite of the moment, which is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. It's basically just a smoothing primer. I put it in all the areas where I have larger pores just to kind of like fill them in and give us as flawless base as possible. And then I'm just gonna go in with my foundation. The foundation that I'm gonna use is obviously the Maybelline Better Skin Foundation. It's basically the only one I've been using recently. And I'm just gonna apply that with a damp beauty blender. This is just the best way I think to apply this foundation. Um, I just think it gives a better finish than using a brush and it's super quick and easy literally. I can apply this in no time at all and you can like build up the coverage as well which I like. I'm just going to do a little bit of colour correcting using this peachy shade in my NYX colour correcting palette and I'm just applying that with my finger just to cancel out any kind of blue tones or darkness that we have underneath the eyes. And then obviously it's time for our brows and I'm actually going to show you my brows today um, because I've been using the Anastasia Dip Brow in the shade Soft Brown and, and I'm just using an Iconic London um, brush for this and it's like a really tiny small angled brush so you can get really nice like hair like strokes with it and I always make sure to have a spoolie on hand as well just to make sure that all of the product is dispersed um, nicely throughout the brows. I focus most of the product um, towards the end of the brow and then feather it towards the front. And no matter what, I always like to carve out my brows with a bit of concealer. I think it just really finishes it off and makes them look so perfect, even if you've like made mistakes and stuff, which I do all the time, to be honest. And for eyes today, I'm going to be using my Kylie Holiday palette and taking this transition shade right here. You don't need to be too neat with it, just kind of chuck it in um, as a nice transition colour for when we go in with the next shade, just makes it like super easy to blend out. And then taking this mauve shade right here, I'm also going to chuck that in the crease as well. She really didn't have much kind of eye makeup on, so I'm going to use a really, really light hand and a light amount because the main focus of it was kind of her wing, which I believe was um, either brown liner or brown shadow. So I'm not, you know, focusing too much on the crease at this point. Now for the wing, I'm just going to take my Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette and go in with this brown shade right here and a little uh, thin Zoeva angled brush and I'm basically just going to draw a wing. You can use um, a brown liquid or gel liner if you prefer but I just find uh, doing it with shadow is super easy and if you mess up it's really easy to clean up so just do the wing to the thickness that you like. Then I did also decide to clean up on these sides using a makeup wipe just to make it look really clean and crisp and it just makes it look so much nicer. So much nicer. Now from mascara, I've actually been trying out this Lights Camera Lashes uh, mascara from Tarte and it's only in like a sample size but honestly I absolutely love it. It's like the best mascara I've ever tried so I definitely want to get the full size. Uh, I'm also just tight lining as well. Um, I'm basically just prepping for the lashes at this point. Put like a decent coat of mascara on because we want uh, our natural lashes to blend uh, properly with the falsies. I went for these designer lashes today. I haven't worn them too much, but I have to say I absolutely love them. They're in the style G104, and they're really, really nice, really lightweight, super wispy, and so easy to apply. Like, if you struggle to apply false lashes, try these out. Uh, I'm not sure on the um, price point, but I assume they're quite affordable, and they're definitely available in the UK. Um, I just absolutely love them. They're just so pretty. And they went really well with this look, because Kylie had proper, like, wispy lashes. Now it's about that time, we are going to highlight the face. Um, so I tried to keep most of the product pretty much in the centre of my face because obviously we want to try and make it look as much like Kylie as possible but obviously I have a completely different shape face. Um, hers is a lot more shorter and I kind of tried to keep the product right in the centre of my face um, as not to like elongate it any more than it already is. Um, but yeah, basically just putting it in the normal areas that you highlight and then I'm gonna go and contour in a minute as well. Oh, and I'm using my um, Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Absolutely love this one, so good, so good. So for the cream contour shade, I did go back into my NYX Color Correcting Palette and chose this bronzy shade right here. 
um, because in the picture Kylie looked pretty bronzed and her contour wasn't too harsh so I thought that it would be quite a good colour just to kind of warm up my face because I'm a little bit pale right now, I'm not going to lie, I really need to like fake tan. Um, but I'm just going to apply it with this little um, Evo brush from Iconic London, it's actually a really nice brush. Um, all the Evo brushes from them are actually really good and I do use um, another one to blend it out in this video. I also made sure to put some of that on the jawline because Kylie has a really beautifully defined uh, jawline and also her nose is um, a little bit shorter and kind of wider than mine so I tried to contour like that as well. Um, and again I just need to blend out using this bigger Evo brush also from Iconic London. I really do recommend their brushes, they're so nice. And this product as well is obviously super affordable from NYX and as you can see it blends out super easily plus you get all the other colour correcting colours in there as well so it's so good. Such a nice finish. Then of course taking the damp beauty blender again I'm just going in and blending out all of that concealer. You gotta blend 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 make sure that you're looking flawless because let's be honest Kylie always looks flawless her makeup is always insane um, and I really love using the beauty blender for this I just think it makes sure that you don't look cakey underneath the eyes or anything like that and it just gives like the most flawless finish. And then to avoid any creasage, I have got to set that immediately using my no, my Arcee May No Colour Powder, which is a really, really great alternative for the Laura Mercier. It's so good and so so cheap. Um, and I'm also baking on the sides of my nose, chin and forehead because I'm an oily mess. And this is the only way that it stops it. And then I'm just going to set the rest of my face as well to make sure that um, my makeup lasts all day. And I'm using my uh, Makeup Forever HD uh, powder foundation. Oh my god, can I get my words out? Yeah. And I'm just uh, using a big fluffy brush from Real Techniques. And then for the lower lash line, I'm going to use the two shades that we used in the crease. Um, it didn't look like Kylie had anything too crazy going on underneath there. So I'm just using this really fluffy um, Mikasa Beauty pencil brush, which is amazing. You should definitely check it out. Um, their brushes are super affordable as well. And I do have a discount code for it. Um, but yeah, I'm just running that really lightly underneath to give like a little shadow, but nothing too crazy. And then just to open up the eyes even more because it was kind of a super fresh look. I'm just using a nude um, eye pencil, I think this one's from NYX, just in the waterline. And obviously you cannot forget to coat your lashes with some mascara. I'm um, just using the same tart one that I'm friggin obsessed with at the moment. So it is time to wipe away the bakage, it's definitely been on there long enough. And I do like to go over it as well with like a banana powder and I'm just going to use the one in my Kat Von D Shade Night Palette which obviously is my favourite. And um, I like to give a bit of extra coverage in all the highlighted areas, plus it makes sure that you're not going to get any flashback if you've gone a little bit heavy handed with the bakage, you know what I mean? So yeah, it just covers you basically. And then to bronze up my face, because Kylie was super bronze, using my favourite Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil bronzer and a huge fluffy brush. This one is also from Real Techniques. And I'm just basically bronzing up my face because, as I said, I am super pale and Kylie is not. So I've got to make myself look nice and bronze as though I live in California, I wish, it's really rainy and cold here in England but that's okay. And then to deepen up like the contour, I mean she wasn't super contoured but just to like do it a little bit, I'm just using this um, contour shade from the Shade Night Palette and this kind of fluffy Morphe brush and I tried to keep the contour kind of straight because that's kind of how her cheekbones look and like further back than what I would normally. And also concentrating on the temples as well because her forehead ain't that big, let's be honest. Um, but I do have to do a bit on the top, obviously, because my forehead is bigger than hers. And again, we're trying to get that Kylie jawline. So you got to contour the hell out of your jaw. Did I say that right? Yeah, I did. Oh, and then I'm just contouring my nose as well. Um, just basically going over where the cream contoured. Uh, her nose is a little bit wider, I suppose. Well, I mean, my nose is wide, but normally I would contour it smaller, if you get what I mean, but she doesn't really need to because her nose is fine the way it is. And then to highlight, she didn't really have that much highlight on, I don't think, just like a really light kind of glow to the skin. So you could always just add an illuminator into your foundation. But I'm just going to use um, my Anastasia That Glow Kit and like a really tiny amount with this big fluffy brush. Uh, as you can see, like normally I would put way more on, um, just doing like a light layer. Also in all the other areas um, of my face, like where the light hits, and I do like to do it on my nose as well, because she did look kind of glowy. Now our main focus in her makeup look was actually her blush, which is kind of unusual. So I'm going to uh, use this pink blush from MAC in the colour New Romance, and it's a mineral blush, so um, it's not like too crazy pigmented, and it has a really nice sheen to it, so it looks really like 
well, kind of natural, um, and I'm going to focus that on the apples of my cheeks because that's where she had it placed, um, just using my Bobbi Brown Sheer Powder Brush, which is my favourite. Um, but yeah, it's just a really nice kind of like fresh look and it really drew attention to her face makeup rather like the eye makeup. And then to set all of the powders in place and give like a really nice kind of dewy look, I'm just going to add a bit of my MAC Fix Plus. It really just kind of melts the powders into your skin because we have used quite a lot obviously with like baking and stuff. The lips, I'm first going to go in with this lipstick in the number 207 from Maybelline. It's just like a really nice sheer pink lipstick with a nice sheen to it. Um, her lips were like a really like pale pink, also glossy, so I, I just first put this down and it didn't look like she had any like crazy overlining or lip liners on or anything like that. Um, so I'm just adding a bit of this and then I do go in as well with my Dose of Colours Undressed Gloss, which is a really nice nude, so it kind of just toned down the pink a little bit and gave it a really nice sheen as well. And then that's it for this look you guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this Kylie Jenner inspired makeup tutorial, it's just super nice light fresh makeup, super easy to do. Um, so if you did like it, make sure that you like the video, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, all of that. You can follow my social media because I link it all in the uh, bottom bar below along with all the products that I use. Um, I do post every week so I hope to see you guys in the next one, bye!